What is up, guys? This is Klimos here, and if you can't tell, this is Black Ops 2. And this is Black Ops 2 on my Xbox One. They made this backwards compatible about a week ago, and I've been playing a quite a bit of it because, well, Black Ops 2 is awesome, and I haven't been able to play it on my Xbox 360 because the disk drive is ruined because it's old. Super old. It's almost like 10 years old now. Which, oh my god, that's... Wow, that is really crazy to think about. My Xbox 360 is almost 10 years old. Uh, anyways, um, I honestly, I, I didn't know that Black Ops 1 was backwards compatible on Xbox One either. It was been backwards compatible for a little while now. So that's cool. I've been playing a little bit of that too. Um, there is one thing I want to talk about that kind of annoys me with this. And there's like, I'm not sure if it's the console or the way the backwards compatibility works. There's just a slight delay from your controller input to, like, what actually happens on screen. It's like, if, if I were to explain, it's like playing on, like, a really old TV with awful re or refresh rate, and it's just that kind of delay. It's kind of like that. Nothing awful. I mean, it's, it's playable, but it's definitely not what I'm used to because I'm a competitive player and, you know, Twitch reactions... It's just, that's how I'm used to it. I'm used to one millisecond response. Maybe that's just the Xbox One. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've played it. Um, obviously, the graphics are from Xbox 360, so... I'm not really sure how they actually do it. I don't know if they... Uh, it seems like it's just an emulator, because like when you open the game, it like does the little Xbox 360 opening sequence. So I'm not sure. I think it just like emulates an Xbox 360. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, something, another thing that kind of pissed me off about this whole backwards compatibility thing, like, you just put the disc in after an update and it lets it work. I understand that maybe not for right off a of launch they would have had this set up, but you're telling me that this, con uh, this is a, like, day one edition Xbox One. So you're telling me that a day one Xbox has been able to do backwards compatibility this whole time, just needs an update and uh, the firmware? That doesn't make any sense to me. I wish they would have had that from the start. Um, but yeah, um, obviously you're watching this video on Cisco Entertainment and my channel, so there's going to be daily uploads from here on out. I'm not going to talk too much about it. There's a tomahawk kill. Um, I'm going to be posting just pretty much everything. Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, um, I'm going to probably buy that new game on PC, um, gosh, pl unknown players battlegrounds um it's like h1z1 standalone but like better i think it looks better i'm not sure i'm gonna be playing that probably with jacob um we might talk about the schedule for these videos here at some other point i'm not sure i'm not gonna talk about it today but yeah we're just playing black ops 2 and it's it's great um i might i'm not gonna play infinite warfare um infinite warfare is the most trash game on this planet. I'm going for headshots because I might try to go get diamond again. That's maybe something I'll do on this game since, you know, we got it now. Diamond. I used to have diamond and I was I was master prestige on this game. I had diamond and I uh, reset my stats with Dylan or Squibeezy. And that was the dumbest decision I've ever done. We thought it was going to be cool and fun. Nope. It wasn't. It was dumb. My kid just got screwed up. But, uh... Uh, I just got screwed up. But yeah, so today, they uh, confirmed World War II, Call of Duty World War II. I mean, it's been confirmed, but it's officially confirmed as of today. And I will put that on screen, I mean, just the tweet. It's pretty exciting, obviously that it's confirmed. We get the trailer Wednesday, May 26th, or April, it's April, God. April 26th at whatever time like 10 a.m. or something. So yeah, I'll, I'll be making a video about that. Can't wait. It's going to be really hype. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time it comes out. I'm going to look real quick because I am kind of curious. Where is that? Let's go Twitter. Come on now. Sledgehammer Games. Um, yeah. Obviously, I mean, I'm, it's on screen right now for the viewer, but I'm looking at it. It's coming out 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Pacific something. 
Eastern Eastern Daylight Time, 1 p.m. So 12 o'clock noon for me. So we'll be making a video about that for sure. That's that's gonna be pretty hype. Um, just to talk about World War II. Obviously, Sledgehammer Games made my favorite Call of Duty of all time, Modern Warfare 3. Um, they made Advanced Warfare, which at the time I hated it, but now looking back on it, I would take Advanced Warfare over Infinite Warfare any day of the week. Um, at all, any day of the week. Infinite Warfare can kind of just die, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Advanced Warfare had its flaws, but it wasn't awful for its first, for the first uh, futuristic jetpack exosuit Call of Duty. Obviously, World War II won't have any exosuits. Going back to boots on the ground, they have all the potential to revive the Call of Duty series because it's kind of been on a downhill trend recently. They have all the potential in the world to fix it, bring it back to life, bring it back to the community, everything we love, back to the good old days. Fun competitive, fun pubs. I had fun pubs in Black Ops 3, but some other people didn't. They just, they have all the potential in the world to make this game great. And if they screwed up with supply drops, which they probably will, supply drops will be a thing, obviously, in every single Call of Duty from here on out. There's no, no question about that. Just the, the question is, are they going to ruin it? Like, completely? Or are they going to do it like Black Ops 3, where it was just there, not very bad? Alright. We're playing this team deathmatch. And, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment for suggestions. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I will catch you later. Peace.